It can be super hard to find the right tripod for you because it all depends on your photography niche, on your budget, obviously, we all have to look into that, and also into so many features you're gonna learn in this video before you waste your money. Because it happens a lot, you don't know, and then you may buy something super basic and you need more after, or maybe you buy something which is a lot, like a very good tripod with a lot of features, and you don't need them. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you all those features you need to look at before getting one, and then I'm gonna show you my new main one, which is incredible. It's an all-in-one tripod. It has a lot of features I'm gonna show you later, and it ticks all the boxes. After 13 years I've been shooting within many niches, this has it all. But guys, um, this depends on your photography work. That's what I want to teach you today. It's gonna depend a lot on your photography niche. The photography niche is gonna dictate what you need, because it's not the same to be a portrait photographer like me, than being a landscape photographer who may need more from the tripod, like a rotatable head to do panoramics or a level to make sure the tripod is level, or maybe an interior photographer who needs even more specs to be able to be super precise with the pictures. So you have to think about this. And also, if you want something for everything, like I do, this is my favorite uh, way to buy gear. I like things for everything. Not always works, but with a tripod, this is an all-in-one. And I will show you later the brand because it's super nice, super affordable, and I'm sure you may know it already because many photographers use it. So now this one is gonna be my main tripod. I do have a few other ones that they are quite basic and they did the job, but now I need more from it. So we're gonna talk about the features now and I'm gonna start talking about the load capacity. This is something super crucial. I can explain properly this because in my situation, I had a basic tripod that had a load capacity, I think it was of three kilos. And when I bought my Sigma 105 millimeters, here it is, this beast, like you see it here, there you go, is super big and super heavy. And this lens with my 5D Mark IV I'm recording with right now, I don't know exactly the weight, but maybe it's three kilos and a half, four kilos. So when I put the tripod in vertical mode for portrait photography, it can't stand it. So it slips, it's slippery, so I cannot shoot with that one. And this one, for example, takes up to 10 kilos. So this is super important. You have to look at your gear and you have big zoom lenses and very heavy ones and a heavy camera, check for a tripod with enough load capacity for yourself. The tripod head, there is so many systems, but I'm not gonna talk about them. You can do your research. But I will say get a ball head tripod. And I think so many photographers agree with me because it's super simple to move. You just have to rotate the ball. It's super smooth, super versatile, and super comfortable when you are shooting because you can have the camera like this, you lose the knob, and then you can rotate. And for me, it's super comfortable. So a bulkhead tripod, it's incredible for every single niche. And also, they used to be super expensive when I started photography, but now they are not. So you don't have the excuse. If you want a bulkhead tripod, you can get it nowadays. The level. So many tripods don't have a level and you may not need it. At the beginning, my first tripod didn't have it, I think. Yeah, it didn't have it, but I didn't need it. I was a bit of a lazy shooter. Not lazy, because actually it's more work. But what I was doing is relying on the bulkhead. I was checking on the camera and then I was checking the horizon. And if the horizon was straight, fine, I was shooting. I was like checking with the ball and rotating the camera and it was fine. But you wanna be precise and don't be as messy as me. Now I don't do it anymore, I have a level. So you can get one with a level to make sure the tripod is even because the surface when you shoot in nature, for example, in the mountains or whatever it is, you're gonna have to put the tripod and to be able to know if it's straight and it's level to the surface, you're gonna need the level for sure. This is something you need to look at as well. Rotating panoramic head. Not many tripods has that, and for me, it's gold, because now I do video and I love to rotate the head of my tripod, and you can do panning with the camera, but this is crucial for landscape photographers, even interior photographers, to do panoramics, because you can shoot, then you move a little, shoot again, move a little, shoot again, and then you can merge all the pictures in Adobe Lightroom or whichever software you use. For me, it's a must. I think you really need a rotatable head. Maybe you're a portrait photographer only, just only portrait photographer, you may not need it if you don't do video because you're not gonna do too many panoramics, but it's very beneficial to have it. I think this is very good. Inverted center axis. This is something super cool because you can put the axis in the bottom of the tripod so the camera is level up with the floor. So this is very cool for macro photographers because you can be super close to the insects, to the plants, and to the flowers or whatever you wanna shoot. But also you can do creative photography, like low angle creative photography or video 
if you want to shoot, I don't know, the feet or someone walking in the, in the grass or in the sand, whatever it is, I think you can do a lot of things with this feature as well. Horizontal center column. And this is mainly when you can put it horizontal, this axis, and then you can do top down shots or flat lays for product photography. This tripod has it as well. This is super cool because, for example, I do have a C stand, you can see here, which is uh, even better for flat lays because the arm is way longer and uh, is heavy duty as well. But you don't have a C stand because they are expensive. With the tripod, you can manage it. You can do the horizontal center axis and then you can put the camera shooting down. And then this one can rotate 360 as well degrees and it's even better because you can do panoramic shots and video, doing panning with the video. I always put video into the examples because I love video now and you as a photographer, you may end up getting into video as well because I thought I wouldn't and I end up doing it. So this is an amazing feature. Tripod height. From this, I don't have to say too much because it's quite obvious, but as taller the tripod, the best. Because obviously if you are tall, it's gonna be better. And also because you may want to shoot very high angle views of landscape photography or whatever it is. I was the other day in Snowdonia, which is a natural park in the UK. I did a video, a vlog about this, so go check it out if you didn't. I took this tripod there. I don't show it in the video, but at some point I was shooting over a bridge and there was a very high fence because the river was underneath and there was a waterfall in front. And I couldn't have taken that waterfall right if it wouldn't be because of this tripod. I put it super high because it goes two meters 40, no, two meters 39. It's crazy high, this tripod. And then I was shooting with a remote shutter. So for high angle views, it's incredible. So you want something super tall. And if you're a tall person and you take a basic tripod, you're gonna be bending over and it's gonna be so uncomfortable because for long exposures in landscape photography, you're gonna be waiting for a while and you don't wanna be <laughs> breaking your back. So this is quite useful as well. Tripod weight and size. This is a must, and I'm sure you are looking into that as well, because mostly tripods, if they are very light, they're gonna be less stable. So you want a sweet spot, like something light, but heavy enough, so it's more sturdy. And some tripods do very well at being lightweight, but at the same time, being very stable. And on top of that, they have a hook underneath, like this one here. I don't know if you see it there. Yeah, here. So you can hang the camera bag, which I did <laughs> in Snowdonia because it was super windy, super stormy and super dangerous. So I did hang my camera bag, which was super heavy. I can promise you that with all my lenses. And it did an amazing job because it's very sturdy, but on top of that with the camera bag, it's invincible. So I already tested and it's very good. And then also how you gonna carry it because this one is super retractable. So they become very small and very easy to carry. This is super crucial, for example, if you are a travel photographer as well, because you're going to want to travel a lot and have flexibility with your tripod, your camera bag, and it's not too heavy. But then if you are a portrait photographer, like I mentioned before, you may have the tripod all the time in your studio and you don't care, it's like too heavy. So again, that's why this video is to teach you the features you have to look at and then you make your own decision. Monopod conversion. Yes, so many tripods now, you can attach one of the legs and it becomes a monopod. This one does it. And it's very useful because at the beginning when I started photography, I was like, for what someone needs a monopod? Sports photographer and wildlife photographers mostly because you're gonna shoot with very big babies, <laughs> very big lenses, and they are super heavy. I started photography doing surf action shots and I was shooting with 100, 400 millimeters from Canon and it was huge. And the day after I was having so much pain on my arms because I didn't have a monopod. So this is super useful for zoom lenses or when they are very heavy. It's gonna give you stability. And for video as well, as I mentioned before, for video is super cool because it gives you stability, like a kind of a gimbal, let's say. So monopod is a good feature you may want to have as well. So what if I told you that this tripod ticks all the features I've just told you? <laughs> and way many more, I'm gonna explain now, I'm gonna show you. But the brand is KNF concept is a very sexy looking tripod orange as well and black i love it so i talk about knf concept because i bought time ago their filters for my lenses and they're very nice and affordable it's a very good brand but the brand is super popular for the tripods so many photographers have them and it's the first time i tried it myself this was sent by them so thank you so much knf for sending it over because now it's gonna be my main tripod in my camera bag because i needed a new one and this one ticks all the boxes i tried it for a very i think two months, more or less, more than two months. I tried it under awful conditions in that national park I mentioned before, and it passed the test and I loved it. I would never recommend on my channel anything I don't like myself or I didn't try it before. 
So that would be totally pointless because you're gonna be Laura, what the hell are you trying to show me here? So yes, I'm very happy with this tripod, guys, and I'm gonna show you. Basically, it has the rotatable head I told you about for the panoramics. So you can rotate it, and it has everything written here as well with the degrees, so you can be super precise. You can rotate it, and you can lock it, obviously, as well. And then you have my favorite head, which is the ball head, which is super soft, and it's quite big, so the bigger the sphere, the more stable is the tripod. So you have to know that as well. And then this is a feature I love about this tripod because I would say I'm a lazy shooter in one way, but it's not because of laziness, it's because it's uncomfortable. So this has these three legs and you can extend them a lot. I will show you now as well. But then you have double axis, which means you can put the tripod at an average height and then you just have to play with the center axis. I'm gonna show you. You can put this proper up and then you can play as well with this. There is another axis hidden here, so it goes even more up, which means when you are shooting landscape or wherever you are shooting, if you need the camera a bit higher or lower, you don't have to be taking the tripod and regulating the legs all the time, which is super annoying for me. You can do it once, put it around here, and then you just play with the axis. One, and then this one goes down as well, two and you have it here. So I think this is super cool, having the double two axis. And then you have as well the horizontal axis I told you about as well. You would have to go here. I don't know if you can see, it's focusing me, but you should be able to see. And then, let me see, there you go. You can lock it. And you have, I'm gonna go further. And you have the horizontal. So you can put the camera here and shoot product photography, flat lace, and also the panoramics I told you about, you put the camera like this and you can rotate around. And for video, I love to say that all the time. <laughs> so yes, you can put it back as well here and I'll show you the super cool feature this one has as well. You can remove one of the legs. So basically, well, first I'm gonna show you the height. You're not gonna see it properly, but let's go up because this tripod is two meters 39 centimeters, which is Super huge, so I'm gonna go farther so you can see it. You're not gonna see the end. There you go. And then the legs, <laughs> it's insane, it's a giant tripod. You can see it from here because it's impossible to put it on frame, but it literally touches almost the ceiling of my studio. It's incredible. And then if you deattach the monopod, I'll show you right now. There is a note here to release this way and then screw the monopod. This is one part. So then you have to unscrew this part here. This would be it. You unscrew this part. And you can remove the axis. There you go. This you can put it on a side. Don't throw it away. <laughs> and there you go. You screw the monopod and the monopod is even higher than the tripod. The monopod, it goes up to two meters 50, two meters and a half which is insane, I'm gonna do it even if you're not gonna say it, but it's just insane. And even in the website it says you can use it as a hiking stick, which is super useful actually. Because if you like nature like me, you're gonna need it. It has it all. <laughs> there you go. And I don't know who I'm gonna show you this, but look at this. It's insane, I don't know who to show it. <laughs> it's so high. So yes, this tripod ticks all the boxes and I think it's super cool and it's very easy to carry. You can carry it like that or you can cross it. I personally love it crossed because when I'm carrying my backpack, I like to have this cross. Otherwise, it keeps slipping on my shoulder. And it's very retractable because as you can see, it's just this, it's quite small. So you're gonna have, um, I can't remember the model of the tripod. Let me double check. So the name of the tripod is SA2541. <laughs> And basically as well, I forgot to say, the weight is two kilos. It's a two kilos tripod, so it's super easy to carry. It's not too heavy. I climbed the highest mountain of wells with this tripod on my back and it wasn't too hard. So that's fine, two kilos, it's okay. The load capacity is 10 kilos, as I mentioned. And um, I don't know if I forgot anything else. I talk about inverted axis. You can put the axis on the top. So then the camera is at a low angle. So this is super cool as well. And you're gonna have all the links below Basically, I'm gonna put the Amazon link, but I recommend you to buy it through their website because it's cheaper. And I have a coupon code of a 10%. I'm gonna put it down below. So you put that code till the 31st of March of 2022 only. So you have one month 
from the release of this video to actually get it. Otherwise, at the discount, it's gonna be still super affordable. I think it's a super affordable tripod for its value. But obviously, if you use the code, it's gonna be cheaper. And again, if you need something smaller, that's totally okay. Don't get this tripod just because, I don't know, because it has all the features. If you need them, 100%, please. <laughs> I hate to buy basic stuff because then I know in one year or two, I'm gonna need something more. I do that with my gear all the time. I prefer to buy something with more, um, with more things rather than taking something basic and in one year buying actually something better and then I remember that one year ago I spent the money for nothing because now I have a new one. Comment below as well if you have any questions about this tripod. Subscribe to my channel if you didn't yet for weekly videos about photography, creativity and some blogs here and there because I love doing blogs lately and I think I'm gonna bring them more to my channel. I think they're very fun to record as well. I will see you very soon. Big love.